Jan, Ken, and Emil. We thought it would be December 27, but it would not be so. And then we thought it would be the 25th of March to celebrate the Annunciation, but it was not meant to be so. As soon as Pope Francis declared the year of St. Joseph on December 8th last year until December 8th this year, we knew that you would be priests of St. Joseph. From the listing of the Archdiocese, this is the first ordination on the 19th of March. You will be called Ordinates, Priests, after the heart of St. Joseph. So what does it mean to be priests according to the heart of Joseph? St. Joseph has many titles. God called him Abba. Jesus called him Father. He is not the Father of God in flesh. He is not the Father of God by blood. He was the Father of God by Jewish law. He was the Father of God by grace. And isn't that what you are? You will not be fathers by blood. You will not be fathers by body. You will not be fathers by natural generation. You will be fathers by law, by the law of the church. You will be fathers by grace. Catholics who are old enough to be your grandparents will call you father. Children who did not come from you will call you father. You will be truly and really like St. Joseph. Father of many children, Father of Jesus, by Jewish law and by grace. Because of your embrace of celibacy, you also embrace the blessing of generativity. You will be able to give birth a million times over, beyond what the body can do. You will be fathers of our souls. The second title of St. Joseph, some spiritual writers call him the Savior of the Savior. So properly understood again, St. Joseph was Savior of the Savior. He saved the child Jesus from the murderous hands of Peter. You are not the Savior because there is only one Savior and it's Jesus Christ. But as priests, you will be entrusted with the mission of saving us from error, saving us from falling, saving us from blasphemy, saving us from sacrilege, saving us from dishonesty, saving us from death. You are going to save us from death each time you absolve us from sins. You are going to save us from death each time you give us your blessing. You will be the Savior of those who need salvation. You will be Jesus for them. You, my dear fathers, will also be saviors. But do not put the title Savior into your head, lest you become boastful. Do not put the title Savior into your head, lest you, your ego becomes bloated. Put it into your heart so that it can make you courageous. Because that is what we need now. Courageous priests who are willing to stand up, who are willing to suffer, who are ready to be killed in order to live for the Savior. Finally, St. Joseph was not only Savior of the Savior, but he was teacher of the teacher. The teacher taught us, I am the way, the truth, and the life. But before Jesus could say, 
I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus had to be taught how to talk. Who taught Jesus the meaning of words and then the reality? It is Joseph. He taught Jesus to say way. He taught Jesus to say truth. He taught Jesus to say life. At every fall of Jesus on the way of the cross, at every standing up of Jesus each time he fell, who taught him how to stand up when you make a mistake? It was Joseph. It was Joseph who taught the teacher the many beautiful lessons in life. You, my dear brothers, will be teachers of Christ. Not Christ the Lord, but Christ among His people. The orphans, the widows, the strangers and aliens, they are your teachers. Let the orphans teach you. Let the widows teach you. Let the strangers teach you. Because they are the favorites of God. And unless you appreciate the importance of being an orphan, of being a poor widow, of being a stranger in a strange land, unless you understand the beauty and the power of childhood, the beauty and the power of poverty, you will not be able to understand the real lessons of Jesus. Teacher of the teacher is Saint Joseph. Savior of the Savior is Saint Joseph. God called him Father, that is Saint Joseph. You will be called fathers. Bask in that title. Relish being called Father. And be happy to be called Father. Not with a sense of egoistic pride, but with a sense of gratitude that even if you are not worthy to be called the child of God, you will be called Father in the church. Do not be afraid to entrust your heart to Joseph because that same heart does not belong to Joseph. That heart has been entrusted to the Immaculate. And the heart of Joseph, the heart of the Immaculate, both hearts have been entrusted to the meek and gentle heart of Jesus. So really and truly, my dear brothers, when you consecrate your priestly heart to the heart of Joseph, whom God himself called Father, Joseph will bring you to the heart of Jesus. And in that heart, we will rest. At the end of your life, at the last breath of your life, when we look at you through the glass of the casket, May people just remember you and say, He was our good Father. In the life of Father John, in the life of Father Ken, in the life of Father Emil, we saw the Father's heart. We saw the Father's love. We experienced the Father's mercy. May your heart be the heart of Joseph, and may the heart of Joseph lead you to the heart of Jesus.